Under the subpart F rules, the U.S. generally taxes U.S. 10% shareholders of a CFC on their pro rata shares of certain income of the CFC without regard to whether the income is distributed to the shareholders. Thus, subpart F income of the CFC is deemed distributed to the U.S. 10% shareholders. In Example 2 of Regulation 1.951-1B2, Individual A was a U.S. individual who owned 100% of Corp. M, a CFC, from January 1, 1963 to May 26, 1963. On May 26, Individual A sold 60% of the shares of Corp. M to Individual B, who was not a U.S. person. After the sale, Corp. M was no longer controlled by U.S. 10% shareholders, and therefore Corp. M ceased to be a CFC on May 26. Corp. M had $100 of subpart F income for the current year. Since Individual A owned the shares of Corp. M for 40% of the days during the calendar year, A's pro rata share of the subpart F income is 40%, and A must include $40 of subpart F income in her income for 1963. Note that the 40% for the pro rata share is derived from the number of days that Corp. M was a CFC, and not from the percentage ownership retained by Individual A. The pro rata subpart F income for individual A would still be $40 even if A had sold 100% of the shares of Corp M.